All right, 213, 235. Inspection switches truck cross, truck, track crossing and lifting railing and some of the other transition devices of the movable, movable bridges. 235, except for the paragraph C with the section each of the switch and turn out training cross and the movable drag lifts up rail. Some of the other transition devices shall be inspected on for the least monthly. Paragraph A describes the frequently method of inspection switches, the turn out track crossing, movable bridges, the lifted rail, some of the other transition devices, track owner qualified persons may examine the records of the conducting field of the investigation track. For every inspectors confirm the track owners on the foot inspection of each of the switch turn on track and crossing and movable lift the bridge rail assembly at least of the monthly. 235B each but the switch with the class of three or five track that has led held the position only with the operation mechanism on one of the connecting records uh, um, connecting rods should be operated with all the position during a one exemption with every three months. Each switch is a class three or five track which held normally a reverse position only one of the one connection of the rod is required to operate with the own in all position during one track of this being with a one owner than three owner than three every three months. Example the switch has more than one connection rod of the switches that also has a lock rod. A rod connect, uh, connecting a switch to a switch control circuit of the point detector is not considered to be a rod that can um, hold the switch in a position. The requirement is designed to emphasize the importance of the non redundant mechanism through inspection is accomplished by operating on the switch mechanism to allow the comprehensive inspection of these components. Inspectors should observe the various switch pon components, determine their functional design, the assessing of these missed components with the integral safety of the operation, the proper operation, the missing point of the data. Inspectors should be the operator with appropriate codes uh, under the statute 213.133 with the phrase all, po all positions intended for the cover to slip in the lab of the three-way switches. 235C. In the case of, in the case of the track, it's usually le less than one to move the each switch of the turnout track crossing the movable bridge, lift the rail, some of the other transition devices shall be inspected foot and bear before used. Lift rails have unique properties and functions. The discussion will focus on the case of the magnesium alloy type of the rail lift the assembly provided with the transition between the picks and span for the movable span with the on lifting bridges. The switch for swinging bridges, bat bascules, and lift the rails are made with the three pieces of the three pieces of the swing bridge as uh, a section of the thick span and a section of the movable span of the rocker. Analog analog analogous to the rail, some respect the magnetism lift rail provided with the running um, surface that's similar to the rail joint. And those joint rails that end up with the bridge pan with the made with the magnesium alloy appropriate with the appearance of the frog. The magnesium lift the rail has a tampered section with the reduced shock of the design provided with the transfer of the wheels to take place on, on one span rather than between the span of the track bridge with the maintenance of the personal familiar with the magnesium steel lift rails point on the cracks generally per proper progress slowly. Railroad maintenance offi offices, officials um, advocate proper maintenance to prevent and reduce the cracking of the magnesium lift rail for the because of the deformation of magnesium over the time. The recommended with the metal frame fell over the ground at the wheel contact point with the reduce of the preventing the cracks. Railroad maintenance personnel all emphasize that the bridge itself can be aggravated with the wage wear of the deterioration of magnesium steel lift rails when the bridge needs to be adjusted or repaired. The condition of the bridges, for example, is an important factor for the maintenance of the such and some of these point policy regarding speeds of the magnesium lift rails are set with each of the railroads. Some of the railroads Required 25 maximum speed, um, maximum speed on all lifting rails, regardless of the condition. For the reduction of the train speed, should be placed on the lifting rails to deteriorate the prohibitive levels. In deciding to place the speed restriction to remove the lift rail from the surface of the railroad, consider the wide range of factors, including the amount of traffic, the bridge connection, the condition of the lift rail itself, and similar when evaluating self magnesium rail lift, lifting rail um, inspectors must consider the crack of the magnesium casting not uh, not known to promulgate slowly. Although the cracks are known to promulgate slowly, they can make might be more hazardous under certain bridge conditions such as deteriorated check inspectors caution in against the siding statute 213 113 um Defective rail to describe crack of the magnesium casting running surface of the magnesium lifting rail appliance. Specific concern for the safety magnesium steel lift rails must be immediately brought to the attention of appropriate railroad managers discussed with the regional track specialist. General guidance inspection conducted with the vehicle are not required for sufficient to determine the compliance. Therefore, each of the switch of the turnout track crossing the lift rail assembly of the transit device removable the bridges will be inspected by walking inspection before the FRA inspector considered a uh, unit activity inspected outlined in the chapter two of this manual. In statute 213 237, inspection for the rail, in addition to the track inspection required in statute 213 233, the continuous search for the internal defects should be made with the, on the all rails, class 4 and 5 track, and the class 3 track over the passenger trains operate at least once every the 40 million gross tons for once a year. Whichever interval is shorter, class 3 track over the passenger train does not operate such a search that should be made at least once every 30 million gross tons once a year. Whichever the interval is longer, this paragraph A is effective January 1st, 1999. 
Gun, if the inspection frequency requirements stated with the paragraph considered both in the passage time of the accumulated tonnage since the last inspection, several methods employed with the railroad estimated tonnage, but they are on their only estimated can not be considered with the precise, accurate condition schedule in the rail detection car of the influence by many factors such as available the equipment in service was contracted with the equipment and failure to vary the scheduling problems which may arise. For class three track open the very operation conducted with the date of the most recent inspection defining with the beginning of the new inspection cycle before the expiration time of the tonnage limits. Whichever is longer than inspection internal Rail defects must be conducted for the last four and five track, last three track over the passenger train operative date that must be reinspected. Will define the beginning of the new inspection cycle before the expiration before the before the expi expiration time of the time time of the tonnage limits. Whichever is shorter, inspection of the internal rail defects must be conducted. Language in, se in section 213-237A of the referred to 213-233 track inspection indicated that many of the rail defects as well as conditions caused with wear or damage cannot be avoided with the discovery that is required in the internal search for the detector car or other specialized detection equipment. Some of the railroads have uh, have elected to perform the more internal rail inspection than that that require under the under the track safety track safety standard intervals between tests um, typically range from 20 to 30 million gross tons between 20 to 30 days. The typical intervals define the good baseline for the general accepted maintenance practices. The industry rail quality managers consider these limits are points of the departure and adjustment test schedules of accounting for the effects of specific track characteristics, maintenance, traffic, and weather. The annual testing requirement requirement for class four and class five track class track o three over the passenger operated based on the risk factors associated with the freight train speeds and passenger train operation. Selecting appropriate frequency of the rail testing, complexing tasting, testing, task, tasking, involving many different factors should include, but are not limited to temperature, differential curvature, residual stress, rail section, and cumulative tonnage, past rail test results, taking consideration above all the factors. Railroad FRA research suggests that 40 million gross tons is the maximum tonnage that they should be hauled up between rail tests and still allow safe window for the appropriate detection of the internal rail flaw before the propagates from the size of the surface of failure for more FRA decent accident and decent data before points of the need for the inclusion for all the Class 3 track of the railroad testing program. The requirement states that the Class 3 track over which the passenger train does not operate should be tested once every year or, or once every 30 million gross tons, whichever is longer. 237B. Inspection equipment should be capable of detecting defects between the joint bars and in the area closed by the joint bars. The equipment used is capable of detecting, de de detecting defects in the joint area as well as the body of the rail. Two separately systems must be used. The meeting of the requirement provided that each of the used before expiration time of the tonnage limits is required in the specification. 237C. Each defective rail should be marked with a highly visible marking on both sides of the web and base. Each of the defective rail must be marked with a highly visible marking on the both sides of the web and base to prevent the reuse of the rail. The defective identity of the control numbers are not required on the web base and web or the base, but are you the railroad for inventory purposes inspectors should be aware of the rail to certain defects such as a bolt hole crack may have they have the defective portion crop, the remaining portion of the place and back and serve the track and the owner may remove the defective parts and uh, markings and the non defective portion of the such of a rail. 237D. If the person is not assigned the operative the rail defective defect det detection equipment that became being used to determine is that due to the rail surface condition, valid surface internal defects cannot be made with the particular length of the track. The test with the particular length of the track cannot be considered the search of the internal defects under Statute 213-237A. This paragraph D is not retroactive to the test performed prior to September 21st, 1998. Again, so the paragraph in the paragraph E address for the situation valid search for the internal rail defects cannot be met because of the rail surface condition. Several types of the technology presently employed with the continuous searching of the internal rail defects, some of the varying means of displaying monitoring such search signals, a continuous search for the intended with maintain mean uninterrupted search, whatever the technology is being used so that there is no segments of the rail not tested. If the test is interrupted, e.g. the result of the rail surface condition that inhibit the transmission of the return of the signal, then the test over the segment of the rail is not valid because it was not continuous, therefore non test in the non-test and non-divided are absolute technical terms. Rather, the provision will leave the determination of the rail testing equipment operator who is uniquely qualified on the equipment. Paragraph D is not um, a retroactive test performed in prior to September 21st, 1998. 237E. If the valid search for the internal defects cannot be conducted uh, for the reasons described in paragraph D of the section, the track owner shall perform the before the expiration of the time of the tonnage limits conduct a valid search for the internal defects, reduce operation speed maximum maximum to 25 miles per hour until the such valid search of the internal defects can be made, remove the rail from the service. 
Because the paragraph specifies the three options available to the railroad following the test due to the railway surface condition. The options must be exp 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 exercised prior to the expiration of the time of the time limit specified in paragraph A of the section. If the house existing so concerning defective rail disposition, inspectors should review the track owner's records under statute 213-241C of the conducting uh, record inspection inspector to determine the requirements of section 213-130-13A2 and 213-237E are in compliance, but they have determined the ballot inspection have occurred with the expiration of time of the time must be determined before any compliance and action. Broken rails continue to be one of the leading cause of the train accidents. Inspectors should examine the records to ensure the railroad internal rail inspection frequency compliance and should be alerted with the during track inspection to any of the rail that marks as defective. During accidental investigation when where where broken rail is factored, the inspector should provide with complete information on the type of the defects result of the last rail inspection, type of the inspection equipment and use the track used in signs to the last inspection accumulated tension on the rail. The sent the guidance under the statute two thirteen two thirty seven D for the discussion of the situation which were where a valid search for internal rail defects could not be made because of the rail surface condition. All right, 239, 239, special inspection. In the event of the fire, flood, severe storm, other occurrence which might have damaged the track structure, a special inspection should be made with the track involved as soon as possible after the occurrence and if possible before the operation of any train over the track. Counts the section in general nature because of the practical, non practical specifically spe um, conditions that could trigger the special inspection with a special manner of the timing. The inspection, the section should amend, uh, not be meant to imply with the train operation, but must necessarily stop the end until special inspection is made. However, all special inspections should be conducted with the primary purpose of the Determining whether the track structure is safe for the conditioning of operation of trains, and the inspector should destroy or act the review of the significant impact of the railroad operation in regard to the storms that is discussed in an applicable safety advisory. Because of the number of the train derailments have been caused and unaccepted uh, tra damage from the mov moving water in the path, the FRA deemed it appropriate to save to issue the safety advisory 97-1 with the recommended procedure of the relatively deflected industry practice of the special track inspection procedures consists of proper notification dispatcher expected bad weather limits of the train aid on all tracks subject to flood damage and following the issuance of flash flood warning the, uh, un until a special inspection can be performed. Identification of bridges with can carry in class 4 highway track are vulnerable to flooding other than passenger train operation. Bill to be information about edge each of the bridges such as identifying UMA marks those of the may be called with the form special instructions. Training programs of refreshing training with those who perform special instructions. Availability of the bridge maintenance and training employing to evaluate with rail, rail track inspectors finding. Although the advisory contains a simple list of sudden events that routinely occur in the nature of the provision not limited to occurrence listed only the natural disaster, Section 213-239 address the need to inspect the after the other conclusion, which includes such natural phenomena as temperature exchanges, streams, as well as unexpected events or human cause, the e.g. vehicle that fails with the track on an overhead bridge, the water main break, that the floods the track of the roadbed, the short terrorist activity that damaged the track. Interpretation is not new. The FRA has always viewed the section to encompass sudden events of all kinds that affect safety and integrity of the track. Inspectors should determine the procedure had been established by the railroad to comply with Statute 213-239. Mindful of the advisory procedure for the non-mandatory procedure should include the method applied with the railroad. Receive the information of the surveyor whether we receive the information, what is done, the, the information. When the railroad is not possible, track damaging occurrence, the special instruction must be made. If the track owner may be designated, any official will be responsible to make determination on whether the special inspection under Statute 213-239 is required. A designation is not limited to any certain crap, but the official must be trained and qualified to ensure proper inspection was conducted. The track safety standards is not required a railroad to keep the written record of the special instruction over the SRA. The inspector will not have any such record to determine the railroad compliance with this section. As a result, the FRA inspector should look at the other sources of the train dispatcher, high rail occupancy records to determine the compliance. All right, 213-241 inspection records. Each owner of the track of which uh, parts supply with the show will record and keep a record of each of the inspection required to perform on the track under the uh, subpart. If the track owner required to keep the record of each inspection according to the requirements under Statute 213-4, and 213-235, each of the inspection reporting under these sections must be prepared on the day of the inspection signed by the person making the inspection. The track owner may develop any form that meets the requirements of the track safety standards, or the owner requires an only inspection on more frequent intervals specified in the Statute 213-2. 30 CC. Only requirements of preparing and maintaining inspection record to comply with the minimum inspection frequency of the section and explicitly concerned with the record information contained with the inspection records. Most, most specifically, track inspection according with the provision under Statute 213-233-B3 of the date of inspection, location, nature of the any of the defect, medial action taken when the person making the inspection railroad inspection reports with the required to reflect the actual condition of the so that exists on the track structure. The railroad inspector must include the specified measurement of the track parameter whenever the appropriate when described the nature of the defect. Statute 213-244-B.
For example, the wide gauge exceeds allowable class 4 trucks, 58 inches track slower to order than 10 miles per hour. When the defects discovered, the track owner inspectors immediately initiated the remedial action in accordance with 213.5 with the speed restriction is used. The remedial action reduced the speed shown in the inspection records. Railroad track inspectors are required to, all, uh, to list all the deviation from track safety standards on their inspection. The FRA inspectors shall review the railroad inspection record to determine the reported data accurately reflects the track condition as they exist in the field. The railroad inspectors are not limited to recording deviations from track safety standard railroad maintenance items. The FRA inspectors should comply with the defects in that find in the railroad inspectors report to determine the level of compliance with the railroad inspection program. If the multiple tracks are being inspected, the directors must be designated the track remains verse and any of the tracks not inspected duly visible obstruction of excessive distance with the required in statute 213. 233. When two qualified persons inspect the multiple tracks in accordance with the statute 213-233-B, one of the report, two reports may be optional or prepared. If one of the report is used, the report must be included in notation such as the signature and initials printed to the name of the second inspector. Rail inspector records must be maintained with the track owner at least two years after the inspection board. Year after the last run of remedial action, the record must specify the location and nature of any of the rail defects through any internal inspection remedial action taken the air of the date taken on the date thereof. The record may consist of the long log sheets combined with the standard rail defect change out reports, computer records, or other data kept of the track owner containing all the record information. Rail inspection records must comply specify the location of any of the rail due to this rail serve the condition probe with the railroad conducting with the valid search for the internal defects of the required frequency of valid search cannot be conducted before any the time the time the frequency expires, the remedial action day of the remedial action must be recorded on the inspection records. 241B, each of the record of the inspection under the statute 213.4, 213.119, 213.233, 213.235 and shall be prepared each of the day inspected with the main sign with the person making the inspection record shall specify the track inspection date, inspection location, nature of any deviation from the requirements of this part of the remedial action taken for the person making the inspection. The owner designates the location which of the original shall be maintained at least one of the year after the inspection covered with the record. The owner shall also designate one location within 100 miles of each of the state with which they conduct the operation where the copies of the records will apply with those operations to either maintain or can be avoided um, by viewed following the 10 days maintenance uh, notice of the Federal Railroad Administration. The FRA has added to Statute 213.119 to this list of Section Paragraph B, thereby requiring the inspection joints made with the pursuant of 213.119 Comply with the inspection records requirements found in 213.241b. The review and compliance of the section inspector should determine the track owner the properly recording location date at which the, each switch has a held position only on the operating mechanism connecting rod and R are operated with every three month period. Statute 213.235c, in addition with the record, should reflect that each side was actually transversed on vehicle on foot of the record frequency 213.233. The regulation allows allows railroad to designate location with 100 miles of each of the date designated the location where the inspector can view the record. Inspector is required to give 10 days in advance notice before conducting the record, keeping the inspection of the designation location. The regulation does not require railroads to maintain records for these designated locations, only to be able to provide viewing of the lo at locations within 10 days after the location. Track safety standards stipulates location of 100 miles after each state rather than the location of each of the state. It accommodate those that railroads with the, whose operation may cross the state lines are only a few miles in those case the railroad could designate a location in the neighbor state provided the location within 100 miles of the state border cords must be kept at at least one year of the inspection covered by the report and appropriate with the inspector except all the records will be available to inspection upon the date of the location. 241C rail inspection records shall be specified the date of the inspection, location, and nature of the internal defects, and the remedial action taken on the date thereof. The location of the intervals track is not tested per to statute 213.237D. The owner shall retain the rail inspection record for the at least two years for the after inspection for the one year after the remedial action is taken. Guidance of the paragraph requires the track owner to record landing location with the proper rail with inspection guidance to perform requests of the rail surface condition section 213.237D to specify the rail surface condition prohibit the rail conducting the proper research. Rail search redet rail defects the test of the rail does not fulfill the requirements of statute 213.237A that requires search of internal defects of special intervals. Subsection C requires a record keeping those instances. All right, 241D, each of the owner required to keep the inspection records until under the such of the um, section shall make those record, records available to each for inspection copying the Federal Railroad Administration. 241E, for the purpose of complying with the requirements of this section, the owner of the track may maintain transfer records with electronic transmission storage retrieval provided that the electronic system may design with the integrity of each of the record maintained through the appropriate level of security, such as recognition of the electronic signature or other means uniquely identified with the initiating person with as an author of the, the record. No two persons have the same electronic identity. Electronic storage of each of the records shall be initiated with the person making the inspection within 24 hours following the completion of that 
inspection electronic system shall ensure that, that each of the records given can be modified in any way that replaces in one record and transmitted and stored. Any amendment to records shall be electronically stored or part with the record with the amendments. Each of the amendments to re record and the act uniquely identify the person making the amendment. The electronic system shall provide the maintenance and inspection records as originally submitted without the corruption of the lost data of the paper copy of the electronic records amendment. To those records, they may be necessary to commit and commit document compliance with the part that shall be made available to the inspection of the compound. Appearing on the Federal Road Administration and Locations, paragraph and B of this section, and track inspection records shall be kept available to the person who performed this inspection to perform, person perform subsequent inspection. The paragraph contains the requirements for the maintaining and retrieving electronic record of the track inspection. These allow, these allow each of the railroad is designed electronic system as long as the system meets the specified criteria of the safeguard and integrity of the authentication. Each of the record the provision also requires the record railroads provide available copies of per, um, paper copies of electronic records when needed by the FRA inspector to provide with the railroad track inspectors. A track owner may elect to maintain and, and transfer record through electronic transmission storage retrieval procedure. Each record must have the sufficient secondary to maintain integrity with the record level. Security must identify the person making the inspection as the author of the record. Two individuals will have share of the same electronic signature or identity. The individual uses an electronic signature to identify their own that they're their own violations of the personal liability action should be considered by all the parties involved. The integrity of the electronic inspection record system is extremely sensitive. So the, so the, should the system integrity compromise, the inspector should immediately contact the appropriate regional track specialist. Should the regional track specialist be unavailable, the inspector will notify the appropriate regional administrator, headquarters, track division, and all will also be notified. The system must ensure that, that no record um, can be replaced, deleted, and modified in any way that once the record has been transmitted or stored, each of the amendments to the record shall be stored and separate from the records as amends. Each amendment must identify the person making the amendment that has sufficient security for the main name, the integrity of the amendment for electronic records, and inspector records must be completed with the date of the right inspector or the computer temporary on the paper. The electronic record must be uploaded with the permanent electronic storage systems where the record will be maintained for one year. The uploading of each inspection records must be completed within 24 hours following the completion of the inspection. An advantage of electronic system is associated with paper re reduction of paperwork. Therefore, inspectors must rely varying on the, the terminal monitoring screen whenever the path that is available to viewing by the railroad. Although printers and records must be made available, the FRA inspector and inspectors are discouraged from requesting paper copies of electronic records unless necessary to documentation noncompliance. A paper copy of the electronic record may be marked original and included with the documentation necessary for the uh, for the violation report for the recommendation civil penalty. Road inspection records will be furnished upon the request of the location specified with the railroad required paper. Paragraph B of the section of paper contact with electronic inspection record amendment will be made available to the railroad inspector of any subsequent railroad inspector performing inspection of the same territory on request. All right, um, I'm going to skip the uh, appendixes, but I'm going to go over them in a video, video real quick.